So this is the first video in a multi-part series uh, where we're going to go over how to deploy cloud formation templates uh, using Ansible, right? Uh, Ansible is an IT automation uh, and infrastructure configuration software. Um, it's really handy, the cloud formation template that's involved. You can you can pretty much launch any resources you could normally from within CloudFormation itself using Ansible. Uh, and I'm kind of going to go over that. So what I've got here is I've got uh, an Ubuntu 18.04 uh, box set up on VMware on my desktop. And I'm going to configure Ansible on that box to when it runs a playbook, it's going to reach out and interact with CloudFormation and it's going to build the CloudFormation template and the resources uh, using Ansible. Uh, I'm not going to be building the infrastructure like the VPC and the availability zones and the subnets. Those are already there and built. I'm just going to be defining them and I'm going to be launching two EC2 instances uh, with two different names, one in AZ1 and one in AZ2. And this is in the US East 1 region. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, we're going to have one EC2 instance here and another EC2 instance here. So here's my Ubuntu box and I've got to do some prerequisite work to get uh, some software dependencies installed, right? So, so far what I've done is I've installed uh, OpenSSH server on here. Uh, so I did a sudo app get install OpenSSH server. And that's because while I'm doing the bulk of this, I'm going to do it from Visual Studio Code because it's a lot easier to manage uh, the cloud formation templates and the playbooks from within there. Uh, and then I, you know, of course, started the SSH service. Um, but there's a couple other things I need to do, right? Uh, so just for my own uh, liking, right? I'm going to uh, I'm going to install Tree. Uh, and I gotta be pseudo because I like using tree to kind of take a look at the directory structure of my uh, git project that we're going to be pulling in. Uh, I'm going to do a sudo apt get install a git pulling git and we're also going to have to uh, pull an ansible here And then I'm going to do a sudo apt get install Ansible. Yes. All right, now that Ansible is installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a sudo apt get, oh, get install. And we're gonna need to install uh, Python 3 Boto 4. And that's so we can interact with AWS resources. All right, so now that we've got our dependencies installed, we have to set up our AWS credentials uh, in order for, our, so we can communicate with our AWS account and deploy resources there. So in my uh, home directory here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a directory and call it uh, .aws. I'm gonna go into that directory and I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, create a file here. Now I've installed Vim because VI was acting a little weird for me for whatever reason. Uh, but I'm going to call it credentials. So if I vim the file name, it'll create the file. And then uh, I have to put my AWS secret key ID and my AWS secret access key in here in this format. So I'll go ahead, I'll put that in there. 
and then AWS secret key ID equals, and then I'll go ahead and uh, link documentation in the description of uh, where you can find uh, the information to put in this credentials file as well. Um, but I'll pull up over here. Uh, you can see if I go over here to my account, right, and I go down to my security credentials. If I go over here and I go to create access key, and I have to, I have to delete one. So let's go ahead and delete one real quick because you can only have two at a time. You go to create access key. Um, it'll give you your access key ID, which will then put into that credentials file and it'll give you your secret access key, which we will also put into that credentials file. So then once you have those two, um, you know, my key ID, uh, and then I believe the second one is going to be yeah, AWS secret access key equals secret key. All right, so then go ahead and save that file. And then we need one more file. It's called config. And that file will uh, define the region and the, and the output. So we're going to go ahead and oh, give it an I. Default, again, uh, we're going to do region equals, and we're going to be working in the US-East dash one region and output is going to be equals json save that all right so now i should have these two files and that's all we need in order to communicate assuming we have permissions within our aws account to communicate with aws and deploy resources uh, and then so we have our software dependencies installed we have our aws credentials set up um, so there's one more thing we need to do uh, in this part one video and then the next video will be actually going over the cloud formation template and deploying it um, we need to pull in a repo here right so i have a, a git project um, and i will link that in the description below um, but i need to clone that in uh, because it's got the cloud formation template we're going to be using and the playbook and the variables and we're going to go through and change those variables as well so I got to do a git clone here, https github.com slash tracy-ansible.git. All right, so it cloned it. All right, so now I've got that uh, Ansible repository from git. And in here I've got, uh, you know, if I do a tree, that's why in cell tree, um, I've got my cloud formation template in files. I've got my group variables and in inventory, and I've got my playbooks. So in the next video, part two, we're going to go over the different files um, and how they kind of inter interact with each other, how the variables interact with the playbook and, and the cloud formation template. And then we'll go ahead and deploy those. Um, so yeah, see you in video two.